Hey everybody, this is Jace with RMUS, and in today's video, we're taking a bit of a practical look at the speaker attachment on the Mavic 3 Enterprise Series. So specs-wise, this is rated at 110 decibels, and it's a 3-watt speaker. And feature-wise, we have a couple different things. First off, we can record a message on the remote, then send that broadcast to the speaker itself, and it will run that message. We can also import an audio file, maybe a recording that you did in a controlled environment so it's a little bit cleaner or we could have maybe a siren sound effect to be able to loop or we can also do text to speech so we can actually type in a message and it will broadcast that again text to speech it will speak whatever it is that you type and additionally as you'd expect with a speaker attachment it has a volume control but also the more pertinent control is a loop control so we can, we can either record or type out a message or broadcast whatever recording that we have on a loop it will just run continuously you can see how practically if you were executing a search and rescue operation maybe you're looking for someone over a large area that you could record a message and broadcast it on a loop so that they could hear it and maybe have a way to make contact with you. But for the meat of the video today, what we're going to do is we have a recorded siren sound, basically. We're going to put it at full volume and we're going to see how far away we can fly this aircraft and still be able to hear that siren sound. All right, so now we have the Mavic in the air, obviously with the speaker attachment, and I'm going to start the audio right now and I'm at 100% volume and I'm sure you can hear it with my mic. This is very easy to hear. I will say this as a note, when we were testing this audio file in the office, it was extremely loud, loud enough to hurt my ears. So that's a bit of an idea. Again, about 100 feet linear distance. We're gonna push it a little farther and see how far we can go. Okay, so quick update, about 10 seconds later, we're 500 linear feet away and I'm sure you can still hear it on the mic. I can still hear it. Obviously, it's not hurting my ears or anything like that, but this is definitely enough. If you were out in a field or something like that and you heard this siren going, it would be enough to make you look up and try to find out what the source of that noise is. No question about that. Now, real quick, while we're here at 500 feet, I just want to show you what it's like to record a message and broadcast it to the drone. So we actually recorded a simple audio message and I'll play it now at 100% volume. does perfectly well. I can understand exactly what it's saying. So let's keep going, see how much farther we can go. All right, here we are again. We've added another thousand feet of distance. So we're three times farther than we were, 1500 feet. And I can still hear it. It's definitely not as obvious as it was before, but I will say this, we can still hear it. And right here, we've got a little bit of wind going on today and we have some freeway noise. This is moderate background noise. And we can still hear the speaker. We definitely, again, wonder where is that audio, where's that sound coming from? So we're gonna keep going until, again, we just can't hear it anymore. All right, so really kind of wrapping this up here, I'll tell you, it's almost a half mile away. That's about 2,600 feet. And we can actually still hear it at its peak. That said though, where we're at right now, if I heard that sound going on, or I'm just doing some type of activity out here, it's probably not gonna give me pause to say what's that sound coming from. So again, very impressive distance. It's obviously a massively useful tool, especially for your public safety personnel. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel to make sure you keep up to the latest on drones and robotics news.